Less than 24 hours after breaking Kyle out of prison, he's found himself preparing to drop on Eddie 4. I feel for him, but we need every good officer we can get. The Rebellion's been putting out fires everywhere. From the Doom Donut in the south, the IEG unit and his droid Rebellion has landed on Eridu and continued to burn a swath through rebel-friendly territory. From this position, he's threatening the Dabana gas mines to the southwest and Naboo to the east. Last thing we need is Naboo to burn under the watch of the Alliance. The Empire will have a field day with this on the Holonet. It would do a measurable damage to our image. The Empire has dropped a new battle group right on top of our defenses over Cato de Moidia. Most likely is an attempt to cut off supplies to the fleet over Quat. Vader's flagship was seen amongst the five ISDs suffering major damage. Corsac has made their first counter move. Korriban has been their first target. While their ships are mostly bulk order, they do have a few specialized warships. Reports indicate an invincible heavy cruiser was seen in their core fleet. These ships are fairly old, being some of the early Clone Wars era. They're big and scary looking, but their power systems are questionable, and they're fairly easy to maneuver around. There's a good reason the Republic eventually transitioned to focus more on the Venator battle carrier that I'm particularly fond of. Akbar is on the move. I'm told he's confident he can contain Corsac and return to his post at the wheel before the Black Sun or Corsac can cause much more damage. I hope he's right. We can't let their forces out of Mandalore. We can't let Corsac run amok in the north. This is Captain Shaq. Out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire at War Forces of Corruption. Playing the fantastic mod Awakening of the Rebellion, trying to lead the Rebellion to victory. Oh man, the campaign has been getting good. We have had, we've woken Corsac, moving into free Kyle Katarn and some of our other officers. We managed to take Del Tooney, um, and we managed to get Kyle back. There he is right there. He's going to be leading the ground forces for us um, with the Liberation Fleet on the war front over here. Uh, but the plan was to take Eddie 4. Before we can make our move, let me turn on all the things. Corsac actually invaded us and cut off the northern, like, reaches up here, right? All the way up to where the corridor is. That means... Turn that music down. Uh, that means <laughs> we had to push quickly um, and take Korriban back so we could get forces up there. So we had to pull our, our fleet with Home 1 away from the wheel, defending against any invasions, because that's a great place to make some credits, right? The wheel is a very valuable system. Now it is undefended. But instead of attacking the wheel, the Black Sun made a move for Telos. Actually managed to take out a couple of our capital ships there, but we made them pay for it. They actually lost a couple of their heroes to do it, but their fleet is still looking very healthy. Three Venators, a couple of Curlian battle cruisers, and a Providence refit in there. We're going to have to deal with that. And we have the fleets to do it. So I think my plan is, I'm going to do a, a raid on Eddie 4. I'm going to hit Korriban and actually try to fight this fleet with Admiral Akbar's fleet. Do we have a Nebulon here? We do not. Uh, You know what? I'm just going to put him in fleet Pathfinder position. There we go. So he comes out of hyperspace first. And then how's the fleet looking up here? It's a very limited fleet with very few starships. So I think the first the first order of business. Oh, we've even got some spies too. Hey, hey, we got some artillery ships. Let's move some people around. First things first, let's move you over here. Let's move our spy in to see what we're gonna be dealing with. We should move some ground forces down to the south. Corruption has been removed. The real question is where? Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, yep. Alright. Black Sun are invading. They are going to win this. Uh, it is a supply depot for us. There isn't really any defenses on the deck. And they are invading with... Well, the only thing they're hitting us with ground force-wise is those droid companies. I wonder. We might be able to stall this if we can get a couple of turrets built. We should have, like, one squad of infantry as part of the supply depot. Oh, we know. Because I put in um, the garrison. We actually have a bit more than that. All right, we need to move quick. Yes. Let's get yeah, all of our scouts. Right. Run south. Got it. There's got to be more defenses down there. I'm here, sir. You guys fall back. Are those air units? They do have air units, so we're going to pick up some anti-air. Let's move you. Combat, Combat speeder, T-47. You're going to be my group one. Anti-air. Anti-vehicle. Here's our hold point right here. Moving out. What else do they have to go through? Oh, I recognize this map. So you can get up on this pla like this plateau, and then there's a ramp down here. There's a ramp down this direction. 
Um, they might try to go around us. I kind of doubt it, though. Anti-vehicle. I'm going to say anti-vehicle. We're going to rely on the anti-air back there. Scouts, we'll put some more anti-air this direction. Listen to them talk crap. Our supplies. I don't want to lose the supply depot. We need to delay them. All right. Enemy forces have arrived. Here we go. Grenades are already away. Let's get all of you dug in. Do we have support? We do have a support team there. Try to lead them back towards the anti-air. Anti-air there. Don't you strafe it. Got a lot of infantry. Hi. They're all night sisters. They've been training night sisters like crazy at Dathomir. We should be able to win this, though. We have some Seraph speeders. There are a lot of them, though. Let's get you guys in the bunker. Buy us a little time. You go ahead and fall back. How's our anti-air doing? It's not even, it's not online yet. We definitely want to kill this. Come on. Speeder, I like where your head's at. Yeah, keep engaging him. Oh no, there's two. I believe in you, Speeder. I believe in you. Oh, that's some cool shots actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, We are losing that fight. With, with double AA, I guess they're just like slightly out of range. Don't stay in front of the guns. Go this way, go this way. No, other way, other way, other way. You're gonna jump, don't go in front of his guns. You can't survive, oh, up. he's dead. Another wave of death, Mirian. Oh, IG units. Ugh. All right, let's get you over here. Let's get our two speeders focused on the IG units. Like slide around this way. You're turreted, so you should be able to fire in every direction. Let's see if we can take them down and get your two squads inside the bunker. We're doing great. Keep them suppressed. IG-86s. All right, now we can switch over to you. Into the bunker. Reinforcements on the way. Let's go. That's going to be back into the campaign. Somebody in the last video mentioned in the comments, there we go. Both AA turrets are up. So the real threat is almost here. It has to be almost here. Those those walkers. I don't see them yet. Is this another group? So, Dandemir is doing nothing but trading Night Sisters to fight for the criminals. That sucks. Oh, and they're taking out my my response to their walkers, my vehicles, my anti-vehicle turrets. I need those. There, they're here. Well, there's only one turret left online. Let's see if we can get some heavy fire there. Let's get your support platform over here. And I know you've got rockets, right? Fire those rockets off. Rockets are away. Falling back. Okay, new threat has arrived. We're switching targets. Um, they just gassed us because IG is the actual IG unit is here. All right, speeders, don't get that close to him. I like where your head's at, but don't get that close to him. Let's see if we can EMP the. Oh, we're losing everything over here. Hurry! We need droid poppers on this thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They do have, there it is. All right, he's disabled. He's disabled, but I don't have anything to actually kill him with now. We're going to have to rely on like, oh, and now they've got fire support from these freaking droid platforms. They're like binary load lifters refitted with heavy laser cannons. Uh, it's not good. Uh, the only thing I can think about doing is maybe trying to like EMP it just as it gets in range of that. We might be able to kill one or two of them. I mean, two of my squads are still alive. They did take out the bunker. Please fire your rockets. Please fire your rockets. Nope. Do we have any any backup? Yes, Commander. Fall out, troops. At all? Okay, we got a couple of squads. This is looking pretty good. EMP is out. Nicely done. Let's fall back. Oh, those flamethrowers are doing a number to us. Let's fall back. We'll let their um, their weapon systems recharge, their grenades, right? Because there's only so fast of a fire rate. We just got another rocket team as well. All right, let's focus our fire on one target at a time. Everybody fire on the one on the left. You guys don't stop because it looks like the flamethrower does have like an AOE shot. <gasps> That's a lot of damage. See if you can shut him down now. Nice, you shut him down. All right. 
You guys have almost got this. Let's spread out that fire. I know we've got a lot of RE. There's the there's the artillery. Incoming bombers. Oh, at least kill this guy. Please tell me we can kill this guy. And that'll be one less unit that we have to deal with. Bombers are gonna be here in a moment. I need to move the speeders out of the way. Come on, vehicle. Come on, anti-vehicle turret. You've got this. There's the bombing run. The bombing run was kind of a miss. Yeah, we got it. I hope that was the whole squad. All right, we're falling back. Good run. Uh, they had more ground troops than I thought they did. I may have underestimated their power. Oh. That was only three hunting parties. I did manage to kill that uh, GRZ squad. System. So, the Black Sun owned Telos. We've lost Korriban. Our nearest ground force to deal with it, I mean, might be Yavin if we fall, if we pull those troops off of Yavin, or we bring Dantuin. Let's get the spy up there. We'll see what they've got. Maybe we can hit and then fall back. Hey, uh, Raxus Prime, what do you got for troops? What do you got for training ground forces? Recruiting troops. I'll take whatever you can give me at this point. And Kashyyyk. Give me those heavy vehicles and some and some ground infantry. Solo. All right, how are we looking? On the ground, they have, what are these? Espo Walker Company. When riots can't be stopped by Espos, Espo Walkers are called in. Giving a single officer the firepower of a squad. All right, so it's their version of like an ATST, but for keeping the peace, the peace, quote unquote. Um, I think we might be able to deal with this. I mean, I wish I had fighter support. And Yavin has been doing nothing but building fighters in hopes of doing some raids on Mandalore. I might need to pull you back. There's no way I can even get up there, though. We might have to just make this work. What's your carrier farce force looking like? Farce? Uh, they don't actually have a fleet there because they sent it south and then we destroyed it. And we do have a couple of carriers in the fleet. I think I'm willing to give it a go. Let's do it. And we'll focus on the artillery platforms. Coordinates received. Tactical and I'll send another incident. spy north as well. If we can take this, we can hook back up with our fleet down here. And I can move in reinforcements. All right, let's do it. Particularly sieging those star bases, those Golan platforms will be great with the artillery. Yeah, let's do it. All those platforms. The defense platforms are going to be a problem, though. It's not like they don't have return artillery. Um. Oh, look at all the space stations. Cruiser standing by. Yeah, we're going to head north towards those space stations. Choose your reinforcements. Bring in the Dauntless to get more sensor coverage. Uh, we got a pirate outpost. Hostile trading station. Let's go kill that. We'll get the extra resources. I've only got 12,000 credits right now, so I'll take what I can get. Hey, artillery. We have a target for you. You may engage that space station when you're in range. Keep your eyes open for those fighters. I'll even bring in another one. And an MC-80 Freedom. Oh, sort of. Come on. They're very capital ship heavy. Little carrier group. Out. Including the liberation of the back. Oh, we'll get there. And that's max cap. The artillery is already firing. Ready so you, MC-80 Freedom, are a brawler disabled. Artillery has already destroyed the ship. I'm going to control A. Let's move everybody up. Get you in a formation that makes some kind of sense. Since this fight is basically done. All right. Heavy fighters, go ahead and engage. Engage, engage, engage. Even the Y-Wings. Let's reporting. get into this dogfight. Let's run. kill these pirates. Da -da -da -da. Feels good. I think this fleet might be able to pull something off. Our escort. Yeah. 
What? You guys are fine. You've got... You're tanky. You'll be fine. Alright, full fleet. As soon as you finish off that last group of fighters. So we've got contact with Corsac. They have a defense station right here. Assault missile launchers. Uh, the artillery should be able to take that out fairly easy. Let's form back up. Yeah, they're already firing. Perfect. That long-range turbo laser fire. What I don't like is the Liberation taking up the right side. It, remember, this ship is not tanky at all. Your orders. Let's have you hold position. If anything, I'm we want the to Dauntless to be taking point. Let's have you curve around this direction. Uh, where's my arcs? I should have an arc 170 coming out of the lib. There it is. Nope. There it is. I'm gonna make you group one for now. Go ahead and close your S foils. We'll use it as a scout. We need to get our eye. <laughs> Look at the turbo laser towers and the assault rockets are just getting wrecked by artillery. Good. One less thing to worry about. I'll send the arc forward. I should probably group up my X wings. So I have a response to the incoming enemy fighters. He's starting to come around, looking good. Sensors on the ARC-170. We have incoming rockets. What is that? Oh, it's a bulk freighter. Frigate reporting. Coordinates received. Yeah, come on up here. I'm kind of tempted to just make an attack run with bombers. Are you guys are going to be my group. Oops. You're going to be my group two. X-Wings will be group three. Uh, B wings are already wounded. Okay. Ready for order. Four will be support U wings. You're in a pretty decent spot. Hold there. Ready for command. We need sensors. We can't shell them if we don't have sensors. So I'm gonna send the arcs in. I'm gonna bring the X wings around to the side here with Y wings and support. You calling for me, sir? There we go. Roger that. Just stay right there. Perfect. Weapons charged. Moving the artillery up. That's not a bad Weapons spot. Operational. Let's fight this under our terms. Oh, man. Okay. X-Wings fall back. Y-Wings fall back. We're going to hold position. Form up. They're starting to press on us. Squadron, move out. We have. We do not have a lot of anti-fighter capability. I'm going to have to get everybody up here. It's going to take the team for this. Let them get closer. Ready. Artillery platforms hold position. Hold position. Arcs engage. Arcs are engaged. Bring them back. Bring them back. X wings, you're clear to fire. Artillery, focus fire on the Rakuzen. I believe in you guys. Fire, fire, fire. Liberation, open fire. Overload the guns. I do want you to hold position. I don't know why my artilleries have decided to turn around, which is not great. I am going to have this one start falling back, though. Have you seen this ship? How are we doing? Pretty much wrecking him. Give him the beam cannon. Uh, did you drop your ability? You did. All right. So my fighters do have an advantage here. All Y-wings keep firing. Brawler disabler open up. We have a lot of incoming, and my Dauntless is too far away to jam. He's already used his jam ability, too, because he's starting to take torpedoes. Uh, oh no, I just canceled it. Yeah. Everything into the shields. Brawler switch targets. That Venator is being a literally just wrecked. There's not much left of it. All right, Quasar. Oh God, that Quasar, that's a terrible route. Turn around. All right, how are we doing, X-Wings? I really do need you engaging this. Whoop, up, up, what happened? There we go. He's dead. The Sabler is getting work done. Uh, if you can take out his assault missiles, I'll feel real good about that. So right now we are winning the capital ship battle, mostly. Uh, but we are losing the fighter battle because we just don't have the fighters necessary or the point defense to get it done. I'm not convinced we're gonna be able to win this. We'll see, we'll see. If the rest of the fleet can maybe focus on fighters and the X-Wings can hold them off long enough, and our support ships can continue to pop their abilities. Did we lose the Quasar? Yeah, they focused the Quasar down. 
Quasar is down. Dauntless is taking hull damage. I think that's mostly from bombers, probably from the starships. Yeah, let's fire everything you've got there. Fire everything you got there. I need my artillery ships to come about. Coming around and fire off your missiles if you can. Do we have any fighters left? Sort of. Dauntless, you've got to get out of there. Are your engines still online? They are. We're retreating. All ships, prepare for hyperspace. You've done well. I mean, we could still win this, but I think not at, without the loss of too many capital ships. I'm going to have to pull the Yavin fleet up. We need the fighter support. I also need to put in a new order for Quasar Strikes. Not strikes. Um, fighters. Escort. Escort quasars. We do have a Liberator up north over Mon Cala. That might be a good move. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and... Now, I know some people have said in the comments, you should spam quasars. And I'm kind of with you. I just... I try not to do that because I know how powerful they are. Uh, you can win the game with quasars. It's why they are so expensive nowadays. Like, look at them. Look at that. That's the strike fighter loadout. So that should give us all of our X-Wings and some U-Wings. Uh, they're not nearly as bad. Like They used to be super spammable. Uh, honestly, they, they, maybe they should even like limit how many there are because they're stolen from the from the Empire, you know? Uh, no, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, yeah, we still have to take this back. We still need to take this. We, let's do that before they have a chance to recover. All right, infantry company. I've got U-Wings and Z-95s to back you up. Received. We're still preparing over here to fight that IG unit. Let's go. What do you mean you can't deal with that corruption? Am I broke? Oh, I'm broke. Yeah, that would do it. All right, begin the invasion. Let's take this invasion world back. Commencing. And then we'll focus on Corsac. I think I could bottleneck him down there. There they are. Immediately under fire by enemy air units. Um, let's do Z95s. Three squadrons should do it, and then we'll we'll hot drop assault teams. Heading out, sir. Assault team, assault team, assault team. Let's get a sniper team and a lot of air support. Hold your position. Look at that. Look at that combat drop. Oh, man. Hold. Hold a little longer. We're on our way. Marines are in, in route. D95s are off the deck. Let's go. As they chase off the enemy starfighters. <laughs> should be more of you guys. I should have a lot of Z95s. Come on back. Don't go too deep. Infantry, no stopping. Let's go. We're pushing. We can't let the enemy set up anti-air defenses. Now that they know what we've got. Sir? All right, group one, let's go. Primary target is any structures that they are building right now. Infantry, push it up. What are they building? I'm gonna pause as soon as we have more of a reveal. They actually haven't put any turrets down yet. That's a lot of support platforms, wow. So you're originally a cargo droid. Oh, they, oh, they were, yeah, they were uh, load lifters. The CLLM-2 droid was refitted with laser cannons instead of his original grappling arm. Mince weights, uh, what's the weapon system? Two medium long range laser cannons. Okay, so le medium laser cannons, they should be focused on vehicles, like light vehicles, is what that sounds like to me. Uh, any, everything here, I don't see anything that would be considered anti-air, except for maybe the volley of the skiffs. But you're also, yeah. But you're also open top, so we should be able to do a lot of damage to that. Infantry's moving up. We're not waiting around. Moving in to engage. We've got enemy artillery on the left. What we don't have with this team is, oh, we do have, we do have, um, rocket teams. Good. How are my air units doing? Yeah, they're building, they're building. And it's a flat cannon. All Z95s, focus on the flat cannon. Don't let them build it up. Keep them distracted. All right, hit this. 
Got one of those CLLs in here. Now they are as 95 so their fire support is fairly limited. Let's move up. What I would give, what I would give right now for some kind of bombing run. It's not ready yet though. Keep pressing, keep pressing. Oh, look at that fire support. We might just have to hold out. So it looks like we had friendly forces. Like local friendly forces. Yeah, keep them distracted. Keep them distracted. And the teams are firing like mad. How are the mortar teams doing? Are you guys in there? You're good. They are chasing the Z95s around. The enemy set up a turret. It's not anti-air though, so I think we're okay. Unless he gets a couple of... Yeah, lucky shots. It just one shot my freaking deflector shield. Take that out. That's anti-vehicle, anti-infantry. So we're gonna fly them away in a straight line, get them away, then I'm gonna cycle them back. I'm gonna focus on their anti-infantry weapon systems. 50% on the bombing run. Come on, guys, it's an open top vehicle. This is this is your bread and butter. You should be able to hit this. Don't fall back towards where our infantry are. Infantry are holding position. I'm gonna order the infantry to press forward. I'm gonna continue. Look at the mortar rounds. Uh, too bad they're not very good against vehicles. A cool ability for the mortar teams would be like swapping out to some kind of anti-vehicle mortar round, like some kind of tracking missile that they lob. It goes up and then turns on. But maybe you can like cycle it back and forth just to give them a little more um, usability. All right, we desperately need that bombing run. So Z95, this squadron's job is to keep them from getting any kind of like SAM site online, any, I mean, any kind of AA online, and to keep this nonsense distracted. I'll be right there. The rockets are doing their jobs. We're going in full All right, back in. This air squadron is getting so much work done, and it's not even kills, it's just distraction. The bombing run's gonna be glorious. I'm working on the IG-86s. Do these have... So the base model IG-88 used to have the smoke ability. They don't get that, do they? They get target lock, which probably gives them more accuracy with their E5s. Right, okay. All right. So I don't really need to focus them. I'm not too worried about them causing too much trouble. What are you? Pirates with rockets? Not worried about those? If these guys were throwing all their fire into my infantry, I think I'd be in a lot of trouble. Let's move up. Get the rest of the weapon systems in range. We'll also get into cover. Still have sandbags ready to deploy as well. Oh, another anti-infantry vehicles. Let's go for the swamp speeders. You guys aren't going far enough out to line up shots. Now cycle back in. Gun run, gun run. I think we missed every shot. <laughs> I mean, maybe we're better at taking out these larger vehicles. 20%. Where are you guys located right now? We're gonna need your teams deploying sandbags. Yeah, all teams, deploy your sandbags. Bombing run is almost ready. Mortar team, do your work. They already are. For the rebellion. So we're coming back in. Almost, almost. It's gonna go right here. How are you guys doing? We're not doing half bad. These are high-end infantry. I've got the attack move orders been given. Okay, they're starting to fire my infantry. My poor infantry line. Just survive a little bit longer. Quarry in there. Almost, almost. Let's speed up just a little bit. Speed up time. Hold. We got it. Bombing run away. Bombing run away. Infantry, switch your fire. That target. Where are they? Oh, here it comes. Talk about credit value. 
Yes! Those proton bombs just wiped out. Not the whole team. All right, I'm going to continue to order you guys forward. Let's see if I can send them some reinforcements. What do we got? Um, honestly, U wings to shut them down and then some solicens to repair. No, wait, why did I bring in solicens? They're not going to repair anything. Everything I have is in the air right now. What we need is medical teams. Yeah, let's bring in some medical teams. I copy. Hey, the Nova. I've been playing a lot of Star Wars Galaxies this past week, um, and the Nova is what I'm working toward unlocking, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, play on the Restoration server. It's been fun. All right, that's not good. All forces, retarget that turret. We have a grenade launcher. It's going to do terrible things to us. Let's shut that down with the U-Wing. It's already been destroyed. U-Wing, reacquire. Uh, is there anything left? Yeah, shut that down. Where are those reinforcements at? Medics, we need you! Get right in the middle of our fighter, of our team. We're gonna get orbital. Not quite ready. How does everybody feel about the orbital mechanic in this? Like, at first I thought it was quite cool that it was so spread out, but now I find I don't really look forward to using it. Like, it looks great, but it doesn't seem to do a lot of damage because of how spread out it is. Like, when it does hit targets, I don't feel like it has that big of an effect. I'm not sure what the best play is there. Like, it used to be too much of an effect. You could just sit back and win a, and win a battle with it. Open fire. There we go. The mortar took out the last one. Well, that was more intense than I thought it would be. We push the Black Sun out. Five units. Five droid companies of heavy artillery. What in the world? Okay. Uh, let's pause. The real front line. We now can get reinforcements up there. I think I have a Liberator on the way. Yeah. There should be a Liberator. Did I move you here? We'll split the fleet up a little bit. Send some carriers to the north. Oh, I can't. Because we never won this. So I can't send them reinforcements. I can't even send them from Yavin. I may have to use this fleet to break through and join up with Kyle. Oh man, this is getting a little rougher than I would. Mm. I could bring in some battle carriers. It's a weird one. Like I'd love to bring in the Justice, but it only has Z95s and it as a battle carrier, and I say this in quotations, it only has uh, two Y-Wing squadrons and two Z-95s, of which it only launches one at a time. Oh, it also has R-41. Still not fantastic. Like, I almost feel like this needs a refit at some point. Because what else for capital ships do I have as a carrier? Okay, not the torpedo boat. Brawler Disabler, which also comes with a Y-Wing squadron. One A-Wing squadron for the Liberty. We've got the artillery ship, which actually makes a better carrier because that has the same thing. It's got X-Wings and Y-Wings. I kind of rather have that than, I mean, even though R-41s are a different job, they're more for killing, what, Corvettes? You get Cutlasses with the Dauntless and X-Wings. And, and then you get the Independence, which is only one Y-Wing squadron, a B-Wing squadron, X-Wing, literally better in every way. By the way, that we almost have another Independence class. 80, what's that, 64%? <sighs> all right, all right, how do we want to play this? I need to do this ground invasion. So we need to gather some kind of ground force and get it done. We have two, we have two officers on holding Jabim. That's all we've got here. Yeah. Why? Weird. We've also made an intelligence base there. Huh. Enlisting. Recruiting troops. All right, we'll recruit some higher-end troops at Moncala because there are none here. We'll move in. 
don't know what they have on Korriban. It can't be much. It hasn't been that long. Do we have... We have been paid. Let's do this. Construction complete. Get rid of some of that corruption. Get... Camino, how are you doing on training? Recruiting, enlisting. Take advantage of the Camino training facilities. Removing Remove corruption. some more corruption. Now Hutta's been training pretty well. Let's move now Hutta's ground force. We have brand new infantry company ready to go. In route. They're on their way. Between them Reporting. and the ground forces from Yavin, I hate to pull you Order off received. here because that's probably going to make it a little bit more likely that they're going to engage us. I'm going to pull back Easier than the solo. Corruption has There's our removed. liberator. And send another spy. What are we dealing with? Can we take it? Mission updated. We have a mission. Where's Bro Squadron? You guys are up there, right? Jaeger Miner. That's right. I always forget the Jaeger Miner. Uh, Mon Calamari Civilians Times Five. If we build a light factory. Ah, uh, okay. That's weird. I don't, I, maybe when we take one of these worlds back here, we'll put a light factory on it and win that mission. It's a bit of a strange deal, but I guess I'll take it. All right, reinforcements are on the way. Renvar, let's move those Moncala. I need you guys over here quickly. It's just ground forces? Okay. I need, I need more infantry. Reporting. Yeah, we need this team of infantry. We can do it. We can make this happen. Vehicle in production. Speaking of dealing with infantry, as I order up a bunch of um, light transports. Okay. I think we can do this because of the shield generators of the Moncala and the fire support from our hover tank companies. We've also owned the orbits. So we might be able to just blast them into the Stone Age with proton bombs. Push back Corsac and push back the Black Sun. Moving Let's out. go. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, all right. Attack tank Bring in the armor. I'm going in. Armor. Wookies. We can do that. Rockets. Heading out, sir. Moncala. Moncala. Right Two out. stacks of cheapy oh, infantry, no way, more rockets. We have a lot of solutions here to vehicles, or in this case, gigantic droids. Your oh, that's quite cool. Something awesome about watching those transports land. What's on your mind? My right, ground forces have arrived. For those who are interesting, uh, are interested, this Friday, check the date on this video, by the way, this Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a Rebel Alliance yes, event, RP PVE event, for any of those who play on yeah. Star Wars Restoration, you, you guys are welcome to join. Um, it's a storyline event, we're going to be going to a player city, Can we're going to be doing some fun this? stuff about the first event on the server for our group. Alright, I've made this a group. These guys have dumb fire rockets and that forward turret, so they're gonna be my alpha strike. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to use this team to just focus down one target at a time. Problem with this map for us, uh, on core band, you can see the old Sith Sith tombs on the sides there, is that we're kind of bottlenecked. So we have no maneuverability. Ugh, and we're not even gonna make it out of the hole first. All right, first Mon Kylan shield has gone down. I did not set them. You fire that on their own. I don't mind you guys being up here, but you do need to move a little bit farther. Looks like we're definitely sniping them out. All right, what a great time. Let's make you guys group too. What a great time to alpha strike the crap out of that. No turrets for them. All right, teams. Mon Cali, you guys are looking good. I can't deploy your shield. 
shield on the left is up. Uh, let's grab you. You're looking pretty good. Shield on the right is up. You all should be relatively in fire range. Let's hold position. Got a vehicle that went too deep. Move you back. Get in the shield. 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 I have one more Moncala that hasn't popped their shield. Let's run you over here. Quickly, 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 quickly. You guys fall back. Pop the shield, pop the shield, pop the shield, pop the shield. Shield generator is online. Right now, the infantry are a big problem. Move you up. I'm just gonna have you sprint up. I'd like to have this heavy fire support from these tanks up front until the shields come back online. Come on up. Oh man, what is that thing? Okay, hang on. Pause. Pause. What? Oh, this is epic. It's like one of the orbital ships came down to the atmosphere to support the ground action. Could you imagine if, like, the Empire or the Rebellion could do this? I don't know what they would... What vehicle for the other factions would they have that could come down from orbit and, and give fire support? It wouldn't be, you know, like, too stupidly large. Hmm. I don't know. That's a, that's a weird one. And that would, that would make sense, right? So downward firing weapons, maybe a blockade runner for the rebellion. Let's fall back. Let's fall back with you guys. Like I like that you move forward, but I'm kind of waiting for, we do have anti-air. Like I could bring it in if we had the spots for it. Hey, Montala. Oh, you guys are actually in a pretty good spot. I just need you to be able to place. Let's spread you out a little bit more. One of your members has not deployed yet. You? Oh, you're already a good spot. Deploy the shield. Deploy the bubble. Oh, somebody's managed to hit you. Not cool. Not cool. Probably the turret back there. We've almost had the bombing run, so I'm kind of holding back. There's a whole area back here, and I have no idea what this is. Why don't we move you to this direction? Same with you. Kick on your super speed. Let's move you over there. That way I don't have you sitting staring at this. There's nowhere for you to maneuver, and you're staring at a heavy gun that can kill you. But if we move over here, that means we can decide when we come in. We can hit him from, this. Hit him from the flank. You didn't even bother to move. Yeah, go ahead and move out. Give the infantry some, some space. We will fight if we must. Round vehicles. This is what we need. This is what we need in galaxies for the rebels, right? Like, right now, the only combat vehicles that you have in Star Wars uh, Galaxies is this weird, the AT, it's like the RX or something. It's basically an ATST. Like, I think they even reuse the animation for the ATST, but it's this like weird bubble walker. And I would love to see something like this, even if it was implemented in some kind of cool, like, PVP, PVE system, not PVP. All right, we've got... He's got that damn... What are they shooting at? They're shooting at hostiles behind them. Now is our time. Now is our time. Move up, team. Hold. All ground vehicles come in from the side. And you guys. Focus fire there. I want you all to hold position actually where you're at. Let's start popping. Let's start popping shield generators. Yes, Commander. Who's got it? You're all rocket Ready. teams. There's not a single. No, there's nobody up there. All right, let's unpause. Go, 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 Moncala. Go, Moncala. Go, 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 go. Almost got you in range. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Drop it. And look at the rockets. I don't know if you guys can shoot up. I feel like you're not going to miss. It's a fairly large platform up there. Look at this. We've never had a firefight straight up. Combat 
maybe the acclimator i mean you can kind of see yeah there is totally a third faction back here it's Korriban, so what would it be? He's gonna get away with that transport. Yeah, he did. That fire support, whatever that thing was in orbit, conquered. actually managed to escape because they still had a, a fallback point. Hmm. Hmm, not used to ground forces escaping. Not, not thrilled. Okay, we've done it though. We've managed to pull it off. So let's move the fighters over. I'm gonna use this fleet to attack or say we have to break through there's just the liberations fleet's too weakened it doesn't have the necessary oomph home one is at your command hey the second independence let me know in the comments for the next intro what should we name home one sister ship it needs a name and something good too in the battle that should be the core of a of a different fleet. What kind of fleet I don't know. Maybe a fighter fleet. The core being an independence and then like surrounded by quasars, maybe throw the liberation in there too. Setting course. Complying with orders. The problem with that idea is that this ship is a little weak to, it's it's weak to starfighters, right? Like it's not gonna have the, the screening capability. So that every capital ship, like they can't, they can't really even target them. So every capital ship, everything with a turbo laser, if this is the only real capital ship in the fleet, will target this ship. Maybe we give it some cheap like brawlers, like MC-75s or disablers to go along with it, maybe one or two of those, to be the flag, like the point man. Have quasars and other fighters with it as the bulk of the firepower. And then the independents, like leading the charge in the back. So it can take some of the hits, but it won't take the initial alpha strike. I love the engines on this. You can see the scaffolding and little bits and bobs on it. Oh, it looks fantastic. Now we are on the way. I will do a select all. Reporting for duty. An excellent tactic. We have an ISD. Which I don't think they had last time we were here. They must have built that. Last time it was victory class. Beware of traps. And some Venators. Moving into position. Moving to corners. Which we did destroy. We also took out a Recussant. So those may have been local defense force. The oh yeah, we still have Rebel One in this fleet. I'm shocked that ship's still alive. Uh, we have incoming fighters. Underway. Let's get some screeners. Moving into position. Somebody was really against me building Corvettes. I love Corvettes, all right? Your command. I don't care Orders, how much some people complain about me building Corvettes. I am ready for your orders. All right, let's hold position there. Uh, I'm actually really tempted to bring in two Dauntlesses and try to slam those Golan platforms, but that's... Uh, let's let's bring in two Liberators, actually. Two Liberators to light speed. for their carrier capability. Quasar in the back. Location confirmed. Try not to let one on your tail. Break right, he's right on top of you. Ready for action. Eliminated. Let's get you screening. Let's blast another one. Home one is dealing with this. I'll try and draw their fire. Brawler, now that that's pretty much destroyed. Brawler disabler up front. On my Dauntless way. up front. What do you suggest? A little closer than we probably wanted Order. to be, but here we go. Here we go. We're pressing W. That's the kind of fleet this Ready? is now. Moving out. Brawlers need to get close. We don't stop until they're dead. Ready. Squadron reporting. X wings. Move out. Screen for us. Standing by. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make you guys all group one. Yes. Come and in. you guys are gonna be my group two. We're taking fire from the left. Crews are responding. Assault launchers. Hmm. 
Stop for nothing. Stop for no. What are you? Oh man. The pra it's a battle cruiser. Hang on. I wanna I wanna read this. So this is a dreadnought command ship. Some of the biggest ships available on the free market. The the tag? T-A-G-G-E, the tag battle cruiser, most prominently used as flagships of the corporate sector authority. They have comparable combat capabilities to the Imperial Star Destroyer, but also benefit from large hangars and anti-starfighter weaponry, making them more versatile. This battle cruiser can endure a lot of punishment, but low speed and bad mobility prevent it from repositioning or retreating. Um, and really, those aren't that dual light. Whoa, that is all anti-fighter. That's a lot of anti-fighter. Look at all those starfighters too. Are those arcs? That's a lot of arcs, yeah. And RID fighters. Man, I wonder if there's any way they can make it so you can play as the, uh, because they're fully fleshed out. Standing Corsac. By. Could you imagine a Corsac playthrough? Let's go. I would be down Keep with that. Going. I would run a Corsac playthrough oh, in a heartbeat oh, if I could do it. They've got some neat stuff. And you'd be so, like, limited in your early game. It'd be, it'd be a challenge to get started. Okay. Fleet's looking good. I'm giving just an attack move order on this one. And I'm ordering the fleet. Man, this is going to be rough to engage. You guys go ahead and come up front. The brawlers are closing the gap pretty quickly. I don't think we can maintain this kind of enemy enemy fire. Let's make sure we kill those Corvettes. Don't let them just sit there getting that extra damage on us when we know we can kill it. Uh, you guys should be clearing them out for us. X-Wings, I want you focusing on those enemy starfighters. Let's clear them out. Akbar, time to do it. Give the order. All units open fire. Focus on that target. A wings, use your speed. How we doing? I think we're ready to start dropping the. Oh yeah, leech shield, 100% on this. We have another going platform. We're gonna have to start pulling you back. We're gonna do a light, a long arcing set of fire, and I'm gonna move home one forward. Quasar, I like that you dropped those supplies. I need you to fall back though. Oh, that ship is going down. There she goes. All right, their battle cruiser is dead. Time to re-focus on the Golan platform. Liberator tractor beamed that for like three seconds. All right, well done, blockade runners. You guys look like you're actually managing to clear that out. I'm going to move you forward slightly. No, you guys keep engaging, keep engaging. Look at all the flares. One of their main fighters must be like pure flare capability. There's their star base in the back. We're taking a lot of long range fire. You're cycling around. You guys are okay. Quasar's still alive, looking all right. Quasar, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm sending you in so you can drop that supply supply patch. All units, destroy that starship. Bombers at the ready. Bombers, keep making your attack runs. Keep engaging. How are we doing over here? We've almost taken that shield out. Come on, I need you up there. No, he dropped it too early. Damn, I didn't turn that off. All right, you guys move up. Home one, I'm giving you the order to continue to push through. Akbar, you're looking, you're looking fine. We're gonna mop up the rest of these starfighters. Right, team. Starfighters, mopping. Please win. You're winning. You're winning. Now I love you to pop that ability. Look at all the flares! How are you doing? Are you just still being stomped by that, huh? I still don't have a way of bringing in reinforcements yet, which is great. That means we haven't lost anybody. I mean, I feel like the star base is the better choice because they may fall back if we destroy it. And it won't take that much fire. I'm ordering the ships to move in. You need to get out of there. You need to pull over this way. We still haven't won the Starfighter battle. Are we still fighting this? Really? 
Look at those turrets go. Like, could you imagine one of these hovering over a ground battle? It only has a couple of guns on the bottom. That's why, oh, he crashed. No. Oh, it only has a couple of guns on the bottom. So I imagine it'd be the perfect. Oh, that sucks. I wonder, oh, man. terrible time to crash. It only has a couple of guns on the bottom. So I wonder if they could do that and be like, you can bring them into a ground battle to support. But make it eat like a lot of, of tactical points maybe. So that it'd have to be a choice of like, yeah, you can have a couple of floating, what, what would equate to like having a turbo laser tower floating above the battlefield. But you're risking your, your, your Corvette. Or maybe one that's specifically designed to target small targets. Like you'd have to build it, like you do X-Wings. That could be kind of cool. You have to build up like this specific kind of MC, or an MC-80, excuse me, the blockade runner has a um, highly efficient sensor array that allows it to target, uh, you know, vehicles on the ground. It can differentiate between ground armor or whatnot. Just seeing that other ship floating above the battlefield. All right, let's load an autosave. Just got my, my brain cooking on what they could do. I don't think anybody else has done that. Any of the other mods. So the autosave was what, 837? Uh, so that was about 10 minutes ago. Might have been pre-battle. I wonder it was like just too many flares. Too many flares and gave up the ghost. Let's see where we're at. Oh, I can't believe it crashed. I am logged in to galaxies in the background. <laughs> I've had my Mon Cala sitting there like mining. <laughs> I don't think that's why it crashed though. Um, oh, it was literally beginning of this battle. Wow. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Is at your command. All right, we're probably gonna do an edit here to get back to where we were. I I'm totally coming down here to grab this abandoned space station because I've never done that before. Reporting in. So I'm at 25,300. Let's see what happens when we capture this. 26. Oh, so an extra thousand credits. I'll take that. I'm actually pretty happy with this formation right now. This is looking not half bad. Yes. Yeah, we Come do have a lot of uh, incoming missiles. I'm hoping to destroy this space station before it has a chance to really cause me too much trouble. A Dauntless should be able to rip into that, no problem, if we can just get close enough. It's gonna bring me right to the edge of the map, though, so that means any Order. ship that wants to turn around is gonna have to turn way around, most likely. So that's kind of sucks, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. The Rebel Fleet's on the move, We're taking a few shots. You guys go ahead and hunt. Eat. Eat my X-Wings. Eat. Go find yourself some targets and get it done. Woo. Look at them go. Core sec everywhere. Well, one of their defense platforms has been destroyed. We're switching targets now to the Venator. We have another space station to destroy. Oh, my blockade. Oh, I only had one blockade runner. And they are still alive. They are still here. All forces. Wait, I have an ability for this. Akbar. Focus off, Ayabala. As the whole fleet slowly turns over. You guys go ahead and engage. Oh, the missiles. All of the torpedoes. All right, X-Wings, now you can break off. You can engage those those enemy fighters. I am ready for your orders. Open fire. All right, readjusting. I want the fleet. Moving for the star base. How are you guys doing? Are you actually managing to mop up these fighters? Yes. They're looking okay. Uh, can I get you a Quasar? I could probably put a supply post over here. If I can get the Quasar to get in range. It's gonna be a minute. A little worried about this Dauntless. It's actually looking pretty good. You'll be able to fire at this, and I think you'll be able to get out of range of the 
Quasar. Or out uh, of the uh, Golan platform. Nice. Do we win it? There's like one group of enemy starfighters left. We've won it. All right, time to move. Let you all fly through the supply supply drop. Let's kill the starbase. This Dauntless doesn't give a crap. It's just drive buying a, uh, a space station. One of the little defense stations. Oh, it's already dead. They already got it. How much is, damage is he going to do to this? One Dauntless by itself actually yeah, annihilating the shields on that. X-Wigs! Clear the skies. That starbase should not last very long at all. Standing by. Reporting in. The oh, yeah. been I bet if we take this out, they'll retreat. Ready for command. Laser, laser. Get on him. Fire at will. Looking all right. Looking all right. Twin Dauntlesses and an Independence is so much tank. That is so much survivability. Swinging around. Like we're like this one right here is face tanking. Hang on, this one right here is face tanking a Golan platform. It's a Golan one though, right? It's, it's no, it's not the big one. Cause the big one in this is huge. Yeah, it's the Golan one. All right. Still, that is a lot of firepower to just be like, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, and we're hull it. We're just hauling it. We're not even taking out the weapons. We're not even lowering the DPS on it. All right, the starbase has been destroyed. I'm ordering the engagement of the next starbase. I'm a little surprised they haven't fallen back. What are you two doing? Oh, it's the Quasar. Yeah, come on back. Target those fighters. I'm getting salvage for every kill. I see the little credit number popping up. And I wonder why that is. If it, is it a planet that's giving me that bonus? Or is it just like, that's what happens when you fight Corsac. The loot is that is good. Because I thought that was a thing that only like the Black Sun got. But I've seen it on other battles too, where I've noticed my credits have been going up for every kill. Yeah, I don't know. I love it because we own Solus Van and we get a combat bonus. Power to engines recovers 20% faster due to Solisvan's advanced engineering technologies. All the weird little mechanics in this game. All right. The fighter fleet's about to arrive. Let's see this from the perspective of Y-Wing. Uh, Blockade Runner has gotten a little bit too brave. Ready for action. Armed and ready. Kick on your engines and get out of there. You don't need to be in that. Standing by. Too brave. Yes, sir. Copy, Far too brave. Get back with the rest of the fleet. Womp, womp, womp. Still haven't fallen back. Maybe I do need to kill both Golan platforms. How are you doing over there? Okay, your shields are actually down on the second Golan platform. I'm firing the rest of the fleet around now. That star base is down. While they have wonderful long range weaponry, like I like these star bases a lot for what they can do. As soon as you get within range, they just can't take the hits. 16,000 hull and it's light armor? Yeah. You get a Dauntless in the range of that thing? Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if these two um, Liberators could take it down. But it pierces the shield, so you get what you get. Fire everything. Switch your fire. I am getting a little nervous. Because he's got... Oh, they're light. They're light. Turbos. It's fine. All right, let's fast forward. They're falling back. There it is. The corporate Sector Authority retreating from hyperspace. Yeah, I want to play as the Corporate Sector Authority. They have all the fun toys. I mean, unless I get to make these fun toys if we conquer their territory. I don't think we do. All right, everyone. That's going to wrap up today's episode. That was a fun one. Um... I'm really glad that we decided to engage here and rescue Kyle. Like a whole war was spawned out of the idea that we need to rescue Kyle Katarn. Um, it's all your fault. I blame you. You and your moldy crow. I look forward to reading your comments. I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.